Well, after the Renee Yun episode, Bobby Roode, something sounds off there, asked if we could do an episode on Charlie. I'm going to risk it and assume he means Charlie Caruso and not the bronze medalist Charlie Johnson. And with that assumption, I say, why not? Let's get going. All right, Charlie Caruso, whose real name is Charlie Arnold. Huh, WWE likes changing their viewers' last names. But Caruso was born in Indianapolis, Indiana on July 14th, 1987. Of course, she had a passion for hosting and reporting, but she also had an interest in becoming a pro beach volleyball player. But unfortunately, those dreams ended when she didn't grow taller than 5'2". So, hosting it was. At the age of 17, she was already gaining experience in the field she would turn into a career, as she did job shadowing at a local CBS affiliate news station. She was also an on-air talent for her high school's radio station for about a year and a half until she graduated in 2006. That same year, she enrolled at American University in Washington, D.C. Charlie stayed active while pursuing her degree. She wrote entertainment news for Sister to Sister magazine and did a variety of news and sports internships for CBS affiliate and Fox-owned TV stations, where she wrote stories, conducted interviews, pitched ideas, and more. She even translated dialogue from English films into Spanish. In 2010, at the age of 22, Caruso would graduate from American University with a bachelor's degree in broadcast journalism. For the next three years, Charlie Caruso would work as a reporter for a few different TV stations across the country, going from West Virginia to Missouri, and then in December of 2013, she would go back to her hometown of Indianapolis and worked as a sports reporter and anchor for the Fox affiliate station WXIN and stayed there throughout most of 2015. Also in 2015, Caruso tried her hand at stand-up comedy and had her first show on July 18th. But in 2016, Caruso would make the jump into the world of wrestling, as she officially announced on June 23rd that she accepted a position with WWE. Just a week later, she would start working, as she co-hosted her first WWE event on June 13th at an NXT Live event. She would debut on the main roster about a month later on the August 2nd edition of SmackDown, where she attempted to interview Randy Orton backstage. While she started on the Blue brand, Caruso had moved to Raw a little while later and has stayed there ever since. She's continued to be a backstage correspondent for WWE, as well as a host for pre-shows and original series on WWE Network. She hasn't been involved in any storylines yet, but considering she's an on-air personality in WWE, it's within the realm of possibilities. One thing I can say is that she is determined. Looking at her resume, she didn't wait around for opportunity to come to her. She went out there and found it herself. That's pretty cool, and I admire that. But what are your thoughts on Charlie Caruso? Leave it in a comment. And also, check out the wrestling history on another WWE personality, Renee Yon. And there's a luchador that's waiting for me to finish this episode, so I'm gonna go work on that.